It's good. Well, but how am I going to know? You know what? When we did the live before, I had the questions on my computer and I could see them. So if we're going to do this right, we should do it so that. I can read it to you. Oh, you're going to tell me what the questions are? Whatever you ask. <laughs> I mean, whatever they. Okay. Are we doing it? Are we live? Mm hmm. You probably don't want to share this with me. I mean, I would normally, but there's a pandemic. I'm at, I'm like quadruple vaccined, vaccinated than me. You know what? Uh, mm, it's good, right? Mm -hmm. They say that alcohol kills viruses and stuff. Good. Well, yeah. That's fine. All right. I tested myself. Anyways, it's 2022. We're back in the saddle, me and Aaron. We are honing and finessing. Is that a good word? Mm -hmm. Finessing has a negative connotation, though. Also, mm -hmm. it means you're like manipulating things. We're massaging. Yeah, we're massaging the script because there's there's a lot of story, and you know, there might be too much story. So, I'm kind of curious what is. I mean, I ask myself this every night before I go to sleep. What Part of the story should I leave in, and what part should I leave out? Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes what makes the story great is what you don't put in. Mm -hmm. No pun intended. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm curious about what people want to know about. I'm curious what people. What's I think it's important to tell the stories people don't know. Mm -hmm. Don't well, you? Uh, yeah, I mean it very much does already. That's. I mean, people sure. are going to want to see like. Iconic things, but on the other hand, there I feel like there's no point in making this movie, and unless I'm going to tell people stories that they don't know about and share a part of my life that people don't already know about, don't you agree? I do, and it's right with it. I feel like I'm really short next to you. You are. You are short. How do you catch the top? With you like You've sitting. always been short. <laughs> Stand up. You've always been five four. I've, I've always Damn wanted it. to be short, and. You did? Oh God, yes. Why? I like short people. <laughs> does everyone? Does it, has anyone ever told you that? You know, you remind me of that actress. Um, like just Laura Linney. Oh God, no, no, I've Is never that heard that in my entire life. You but, have? But right now, I feel like I'm Laura <laughs> Linney. Like I'm talking You're like Laura, Laura Linney. Linney. Ozark. Um, having an affair on your husband. I'm gonna have to look her up carefully and see. <laughs> Someone said, um, we want to know what you want us to know. Well, I want to, I, I want to know, I want to share my childhood. I want to share stories of my childhood because a lot of people don't know about that part of my life. And it really did shape me, obviously, like everyone's childhood does, but it will help people understand why I made the choices that I made. Right? It's, it's a very beautiful story. and um, Not to blow smoke on my head. Well, it's not smoke it's up your ass. It's, it's, the it's a tragic story. It is hard. It's a, it's a hard, fucking tragic, beautiful comedy. story. And, and it came out in many, many nights over months of us talking into the middle of the night in, tra in a trance. Well, that's how we write. We write mm -hmm. in a trance. Mm -hmm. And um, I write down every single word you say because it's... If you don't have the tone, you don't have the story. And mind. that really irritates me that she writes on every, even if I'm talking about mm -hmm. something completely unrelated to the script, she writes down this way. And then we use it. You're like a, um, a court stenographer. I am a court stenographer, and you're the court. And I'm the criminal. Mm -hmm. Josie says hi. Hi. Who? Josie. Hi, Josie. That's a good name. Josie, Josie. Yeah, but come on, people, ask us some, you know, questions. We're, you know, I don't do this often. Did you ever kiss Michael Jackson? Yeah. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> um, anyway, mm -hmm. so I told you I had a meeting with the line producer. Mm -hmm. It's like... There's a lot of specific things, like when you're telling the story in a cinematic way and you're thinking of the visuals, you're not always, it's like, like for instance, montages. It's mm -hmm. like, okay, so who's in, like, what, is this a real photograph? 
is this is this do you want to shoot that do you want to shoot this mm -hmm. actually happening in a limousine and mm -hmm. do a screen grab is this do you want to use a series of actual vintage photographs mm -hmm. do you want to do a photo shoot in a, you know in a on a sound stage you know what i mean like and i was like you know there's all these little things we didn't think about well you're gonna have to show me exactly where you're like who about. shoots me in the shooting range Someone's asking if you draw fa fashion sketches as a young girl. Absolutely not. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't know nothing about fashion. I don't know. I don't know nothing about fashion. No, fa uh, fashion is... Uh, no, I'm, I'm actually not a really good drawer. Uh, I like to create clothes on, on myself and on people. I mean that's part of what's in the script is, is people always evolution. think that I people always think that I really thought things through every time I reinvented myself and that I like you know, it's not like how I developed my look in the beginning of my career in the early eighties was really it came out of being a dancer and not having any money and like everything I was wearing was tights and dance wear and like a leotard and then I would cut up the leotard and then I would cut off the feet of the tights and then I would wear, you know, cut off the, the legs and then I would cut another pair of tights and then I would wrap it around my head and make a bow. Like it came it was born out of being broke in necessity. Mm -hmm. And you know, fortunately I met Maricol and she gave me all this fantastic um, jewelry from her showroom. And uh, voila, the material girl was born. Absolutely. If you can tell your younger self something, what would you tell her now? Don't marry assholes. <laughs> like Maya Angelou said, when someone shows you who they are, they're for someone show you. Shh. When someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. We always get glimpses, and then we don't pay attention. Okay. Guilty. Yeah, I went out with someone who kept saying, I'm such an asshole, I'm such an asshole, and then it's like, ha ha, of course he's a total asshole. He was calling himself an asshole? Yeah. He kept saying, I'm such an asshole, I'm such an asshole. Oh God, let's see. And I thought that was a little hot, but of course he was an asshole. Yeah, well, like a true narcissistic sociopath doesn't even say that. No, um, they are tricky. They they trick you into thinking you're an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> well, you you were with a smart one then. That was with a dumb one. Okay, so I was going up on you. <laughs> but you never married an asshole. No, I didn't. I didn't. Thank God. <laughs> Anyways, another thing, like. Would, I'm curious to know, would people rather watch a movie of my life in like like part one, part two, part three, like like the Godfather one, Godfather two, Godfather three kind of thing, or would they rather watch a series? So it's like 1981, 1980 is one episode, 1982, 1980, like, like how, I'm so curious, like, yeah, how to, how to present it, the story to people. Because there's so much. There's so much, but I think it's much further along than you think. It is trim, for, it, trim. It is trim far, I'm, This isn't about it not being farther along. It's really about the um it's the way that that people um it's how how you serve it to people, mm -hmm. the story. Um, and people are also like Someone's going to tell my story if I don't tell it. So, in many ways, this is a preemptive strike. Absolutely. And they already have tried to. Oh, God, yeah. Or my, or my dead body. And I'm going to put something in my will, too. Right? No, like everything goes to Aaron? No straight white men are allowed to write or direct the story of my life, or make a documentary, or make a feature film, or nothing, or anything. A lot of people are saying series. And some one movie. Hmm. Interesting. Documentary series series. Well, people say like, oh, they like to watch series because it's they're shorter. But then I know everybody binge watches, and then they mm. end up sitting in a room and watching eight episodes in a row. 
So what does that mean? So if you can if you can do that, if you can sit still and like just keep pressing play, pressing play, pressing play every time it ends, why can't you sit still for a, a long movie? A movie can't cover your whole story. I have a long ass life, so. A movie can't cover your whole story. A series would. That's what a lot of people say that, you know? Yeah, everyone's saying it's series. It's confusing. But I, I love film. I'm a lover of film, so it's, it's hard for me. It's a conundrum that I found myself in. You've gone very silent, Aaron. <laughs> They're like, like yeah. truth are there, too. Film, film, film. I was thinking of a film. I was thinking of titles also. Mm -hmm. What's it gonna be? This I don't know. Well, um, over the Christmas holiday, mm -hmm. I was thinking, <laughs> mm -hmm. what it feels like for a girl. That's nice. That's song. a nice title. But that's kind of cool, right? Mm -hmm. Three-part film. Say, someone said. Say. Do you know? Um, what it feels like for a girl. Yeah. Yep. It's also really weird to be talking about, writing about my life, and writing about my past, and not living my life. I am living my life, of course, but it's kind of like, I feel like I'm living in the past a lot, and it's a bit of a mind fuck. I'm sure it is, yeah. So can I just go out on stage? Do you want to cry? No. No. <laughs> Definitely not. You'll be I, mean, I, need to be I, I need to um, after you do this. suffer a lot of sleep, sleep deprivation to cry. That, that brings on the tears. I've been sleeping really good lately. Good. Yeah. Something's wrong. Well, I'm not getting texts from you this morning. Mm -hmm. It's weird, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Really weird. I've been very lonely. Since I, went on, when I, since I went to Switzerland and was skiing, I had to get up super early every morning. I've been going to bed at a that might be an hour. I'm a little bit worried about myself. Oh, good. So we don't have to set before. I think it's going to change. Live to Tell. That song's going to... Live to Tell. As, as, a, as oh. a title. Oh, that's a good title. I, we've thought about that. What about Who's That Girl? I mean, who's that... I, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I like Who's That Girl. I like this perfume we're wearing. Very nice. It's really good. <laughs> What's it called? What's it called? Wait, where is it? It's called Better Than Sex. Just in case someone tries to get in here. And I need more of it. Oh, I hit the funny bone. Who's that girl has already been done, someone said. Oh, really? Okay, well, that's not my favorite. Lift to tell is good. What about, do, do they like what it feels like for a girl? Mm-hmm. Okay. What else? I'm a hairdresser. Someone's saying, use both titles for, a move, for your movie. Use what? Both titles. What about Blonde Ambition? Hmm. Live to tell. Now I'm taller than you. <laughs> Finally, I'm short. Lucky star. No. <laughs> no. Same lucky star. Because this is not about luck. Blonde ambition. Someone said twice. Like a prayer, no. No, like a prayer, <laughs> what? Cherish. Hmm. Sing another song. No, 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 no. <laughs> if you want me to sing a song, you're gonna have to buy tickets to my concert. Mm -hmm. Um. Title, Nobody's, Nobody Knows Me. Ooh, Nobody Knows Me. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. or, I quite like that. Hostess and Sharpies in real life. Nobody knows me. Nobody knows me. What are you looking at? No. 
No. My name is Madonna. Interesting. Yeah, people like that a lot. Someone said, what it feels like for a girl is perfect. Nobody knows me is greatness. Okay, I like that. It doesn't look good written down, actually. Blondes have more fun. That's, isn't it? That? <laughs> doesn't look good. What it feels like for a girl is well, wrong. I like it. Do you like the way it looks? Oh, well, I didn't write it very nicely. What, how does that look? You've been good about that movie? I want it, I'm going, have you seen what it feels like? This is how you do it. Have you seen what it feels like for a girl? No. Take two. Have you seen Blonde Ambition? That works. Take mm -hmm. three. Have you seen My Name is Madonna? I like it. What, what's that my other thing said? Take four. Have you seen Nobody Knows Me? Not bad. That's not bad. Good out loud. What, what was I gonna write down? They love blonde ambition. Yeah. Of course. Human nature, someone said. Mm, no, no, that sounds like a clinical study. And like, like the animal species is called Madonna. I'll dare you to spray this perfume in the wine and drink it. No, no. MDNA. Alcohol and alcohol. MDNA. That's not. No, that's the name of the skincare line. <laughs> Can I have some? I asked for some lotion earlier. <laughs> It's hard to get <coughs> good wine around here. You want lotion? Yeah. For what? Do you feel dry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll oh, get some lotion. I want to text my sister. Dry writer. <laughs> Aaron needs wine. And lotion. <laughs> A lot of people are asking about music or for music. Oh my god, I'm so dying to make new music. You can't even imagine! I feel like I've been deprived of air. No thanks. No, I'm not offended at all. But no, don't write more music. Why not? Just kind of don't for you. For my interest. I know, but it takes so long to make a film. It takes so long. The other whole process, like budgeting it and getting all the heads of department and casting. And it's like, can't I make music while I'm doing it? Can I multitask? Why are you doing that? Aren't you? Kind of. Yeah, I'm doing some stuff with some people, but it's a secret. <laughs> put it on Instagram. I did? Yeah. Oh, no. No, that's not I mean, no. one, oh. one person I put on. But I'm, no, I'm, she, might, she might put one project, not the other. The remix. Oh, that's, yeah, but that's not new music. The remixes, yeah. the dance remixes. Well, there's some people already know. So, no, I'm trying to make new music. Mm -hmm. New, because no. see, look, this is, writing this, this story is living in the past. Mm -hmm. 
No, it's living and for you. And music is living in the So you bedroom. do both at once when you're off beat. That's kind of depressing in a way. I mean, if I were writing my story, it would be very difficult. Very hard. On me psychologically. Yeah, psychologically. Yeah. It is very difficult. Yeah. But you've done really well. And we try to be sort of in a trance. So it's not... Yeah, I think this wine is going to help us get into more of a trance. Yeah, I think so, too. Oh, God. <laughs> Just yeah. wine. Don't touch it. Did you bring? Oh, don't worry. I'll See, the lotion. her glass is cold. I want. To... Yours was cold. I know, but it's hot in here. <laughs> it's very hot. How can it not be hot? The... People are asking about Sean Penn. What about him? If you're gonna talk about him in the movie. Well, of course I am. Someone asked a funny question. How many women did you sleep with? <laughs> you know, I was thinking about that the other day. <laughs> Not that many. I'm kind of one I am. Um, I don't know. Three. Three. your favorite film of all time? My favorite film of all time, oh my god. Shut up. You shut up. Um, like a film I could just watch again and again and again and get so much out of. Mm-hmm. That's a tough one. Did you ever see My Brilliant Career? Yeah. But I thought that wouldn't be my... How about the piano? I don't want to talk about Australian films. That's brilliant. It Beautiful is. Beautiful movie, Jane Campion. No, but it's not that one. Even though I love it. Phantom Threat. Oh, that's also brilliant. No, I want to, use, I want to look at that production mm -hmm. designer. My God, he's so good. That director is so good. Is that Paul Thomas mm -hmm. Oh my God, he's so brilliant. Mm -hmm. He did the Grish Pizza. Mm -hmm. Well, straight white guy, he's pretty talented. Very. I mean, he's amazing. Um, Phantom Threads, one of my favorite films in the world. He's made some really great movies. Um, I mean, they're old movies, so probably it would be like a Godard film, like um, Breathless. Really? Yeah. You're that arty, you're going to sit there and watch um, that over and over again? Arty as fuck, bitch. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I like also super sentimental movies, like, um, what's that movie everybody watches at Christmas with Jimmy Stewart? It's so wonderful. Oh my God, that's, that's a good one. the best movie of course ever. I cry every time I see it. Little Pebbles. So sweet. See, I am sentimental. Yeah. And shy. I'm shy? Yeah. yeah. Mm, I wouldn't say I'm shy, I'm more of a nerd. Mm. And I didn't, you know, I have to be shy now because I have to think about so many people that words affect. Like, mostly my children. I'm always thinking about how everything I do affects my children. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you have a lot of them. And, and they're pretty amazing. Thanks. Is it time for their good night? No, please no. no don't summon them in. I wouldn't. Because they last forever, those good nights. <laughs> <laughs> When you work from home, you know what happens. Mm -hmm. People come in your room all day long. They don't think you're actually working. 
Do you didn't put a sign on your door? I put signs on my door. I'm actually working. This is, yeah. <laughs> Knock first, and if I don't say come in, then don't come in. Nobody, nobody reads those signs, though. Yeah, actually, during, during my children only actually. speak and read French. You're the twins? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. I've managed to raise children I can't speak to. <laughs> it's that one. Yeah. Oh my god, thanks so much. And look, here's some lotion. Thanks so much, skillets. This is um lotion. Thank you very much. Dry ass. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so we gotta get to work, so I don't know, like does anybody have any more like compelling questions to ask? Us literary bitches. Hmm? Someone said. This is John Didion. Okay. She left us recently, and I'm a big fan of hers. Cheers to her. Drink it. That's one of my favorite books. Which one? The Year of Which Magical, magical Thinking, The Year of Magical Gorgeous. Um. All of her writing. Yeah, she's so good. Fiction. Anyway, so I, mean, I actually have been in a lot of denial about her death. Really? Yeah, it really very, very upsetting. Really? It's like Sam Shepard dying. Now I know that that's a weird comparison, but it's just it's just like rocks of for Pilli me pillars of, of strength. Yeah. When it comes to literature. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's asking, like everyone's asking, if you will ever do do a tour again, like a world tour. Hell yeah, got to <laughs> stadium baby. Me and Brittany, we got that. That'll be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure she'd be into it, but it'd be really cool. And then we could like reenact the the original. I guess. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's good idea. That's All right, it. that's it. Okay. Thank you for um, dropping in. <laughs>